Okay, the glue server script has finished running, the setup.py script. So now that it's completed, I'm going to point my browser to this address and see if it works again for a second time. I'm going to open a new tab here and try to access the server. So this looks like it's pretty good news because it's accessing the server and it's getting a um, response for HTTPS. So this is good news. This is the login window for the Glue server. So now we know that it's important to use the internal IP address if you're using an Amazon EC2 instance because uh, that internal address is what the Apache server will try to bind to. And then for a host name, you may want to use the host name that's the part of the public address. I think that's because of the certificate, but I can take a look here. So yes, this is actually listed on the certificate so that you can do HTTPS or SSL for HTTPS. And this is a self-signed certificate, of course, because we haven't created a certificate and asked the certificate authority to sign it for us. So it lists the common name, which is probably why they asked for our host name. And then um, all the information I entered, a serial number, and it shows all the rest of the public key information. So this is good now that we have this available. I can log in with the default credentials. Admin is the username, and the password that we entered should be should be working at this window. So I'll try and log in here to the um, server, but this login is not working for me. I've had this problem before when I've reinstalled Glue. The password for this user um, doesn't work at this login screen, but at least I can see that it let me um, set up Glue you run the setup script again to initialize all of the components and then start the server and then I can check on glue so I think I'll check on the Apache server now as I did previously and um, look at the status and it says yes it's it's running so what I think I need to do is go into LDAP and update the password for this user if possible and then I'll be able to log in and configure clients to authenticate to this glue server so that's the next step. But here in the instructions, after running the setup.py script, the, they, they uh, show that you should look at the setup.log for any errors um, to see if anything happened or uh, setup underscore errors and to understand what's happening in the background. Uh, this file needs to be encrypted because it has clear text passwords. So I'll go and look at that uh, file to see if I can at least see the password that I should be using and then um, this is the information to log into the glue server so this is what's this is uh, the pre docker technology uh, non virtualized environment so that you can run a server inside of a server so to uninstall glue you'd run the stop command for the server and then use yum to uninstall glue and then you'll remove um, this file you're going to the slash opt slash uh, the slash otp otp server. Or, I'm sorry, the slash otp file inside of the normal file system, and you're removing this file that is there for glue. There is a, usually another folder there that you can remove, so you could remove almost everything in the slash otp folder o, opt folder. I'm sorry, and from there, moving on to setting up a glue client. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, I'm going to try to find out why my password's not working and create another video for setting up a glue client. Sorry this video's been a little, um, you know, here and there and touch and go, but at least uh, we got through and got the server installed and we understand what the options are inside the configuration script.